what's up? You know what time it is? It's 12. 12 noon, Eastern Standard. We're live. It's lunch break, presented by Rec Tech Grills. Guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you ring that bell. Subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot of awesome stuff coming up. But without further ado, the man, the myth, the legend, the caramel to my chocolate. <laughs> The nuts in mm. my Snicker bar. Yeah. Chef John P -p 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 What is up, America? Crap. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Time. It's <laughs> lunch break. I got my good friend, the barbecue dad, Jody Flanagan, on the ones of the twos. I had it on you the whole time. Oh, did you? Yeah, during that introduction. Oh, you're so great. <laughs> you're so great. I'm an idiot. You're so great. Uh, but I got my friend Jody Flanagan, Barbecue Dad, on the ones and twos. You guys know the drill. Any comments, questions, or concerns, put them in the comment section. He'll be reading those off or answering them because you know he is the rec tech expert. All right. I've got an awesome, awesome show planned for you guys. You know, it's hot. It's really hot outside. Hot, hot, so hot. I, like to keep, I like to keep these dishes really light for the summertime, you know? I've got a few extra pounds. I'm thick, Jody. You know what I'm saying? So it makes it really easy to retain heat thicker than a snigger heavy like a chef you know it you know it so we're gonna do some delicious sweet potato hash I'm really excited about this super easy to make uh, we're gonna be using the bullseye today um, I have a cast iron skillet we're gonna be cooking on I'm gonna take you through some of these ingredients what I've got in my bowl is a mixture of ground beef we have veal and I have uh, a little bit of what was the other it was lamb that's exactly right Elk. it was lamb that's right Elk? It was elk. No, lamb. It you could use elk, though. You could use whatever you want. These are, this is what I found. And you could it use ground turkey. Ground tur you could use ground turkey. It'd be acceptable, too. Uh, you can? Okay. Totally. Ground sausage. But these are the ones I found. I figure this is going to be good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and throw on our handy-dandy nitrile gloves. Guys, if you have any questions, put them down below in the comment section. Please we put are them here down there. For you. And guys, while I'm putting my gloves on, we're taking a second. Do me a favor, smash that share button real quick. Let's just get this day started off on the right foot. Let's let my bosses know that you guys love this content that we're bringing you. The only way for them to know that is for you to smash the share button. Help me help y'all, please. John, where are the Rec Tech coolers at? What? Rec Tech coolers? You know what you have to do, Jody? You got to sign up for that newsletter. Go to rectechgirls.com. Scroll to the bottom of that. Put your email address in there and sign up to become an insider. That way you can find out when them coolers come out. That's right. Okay. So I've got a little bit of ground beef, ground veal, ground lamb. We've got some spinach. I've got a red pepper chopped up. Mm. I have some shiitake mushrooms. Jody, some of Jody's favorites. Mm. I got a little bit of avocado, some cilantro some sour cream, some sweet potatoes that I've already blanched off. I just sauteed them. Uh, and then a little bit of taco seasoning. I'm also gonna be using heifer dust mm. and that unforgettable Colton's freaking Greek. All right, so let's just get into it. I'm gonna take some of my heifer dust. Take it. Taking it. And we're gonna just put about two tablespoons of heifer dust in here. Then I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of Colton's freaking Greek. About a tablespoon. I love the Colton's Freaky Greek. And you know what, Jody? This stuff is really starting to grow on me. It's slowly becoming one of my favorite seasonings. It's freaking it, amazing. It really is. And if you guys have not tried the seasonings at Rec Tech Grills, we still have those spice uh, bundles, don't we, Jody? Spice and uh, sauce can. bundles. Just go to rectechgrills.com and pick that up. Jody, you got an awesome question? I do, John. Um, I don't know the answer to this one. Uh -oh. Well, I do know the answer, but not really the scientific chef answer for it. But okay. what, John, Chef John, what is hash? Hash. Hash is really just a name for anything that you're going to mix together. It usually has involved some kind of potato, uh, peppers, onions, and then either sausage, ground beef. It's just really a, a collage, a mixture of vegetables that you usually end up adding some kind of beef to. And you usually always to. have kind of potatoes in there Always too, right? have some kind of potatoes. Right, right, yeah. right. Amen All right, so we got this mixed up. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on our cast iron skillet. Like I said, I had the bullseye set at 450 degrees. Shoot, yeah. Shoot, yeah. So we're just going to throw this in. That's what you want to hear, that sticky, sticky. So, John, if you signed up for the newsletter, would you have gotten an email today? Yeah, you will get an email today if you sign up for the newsletter. That's exactly right. If you go to rectechgrills.com forward slash lunch break, and so put your information in, you will get an email every day with a new recipe brought to you by Rectech Girls. It's so awesome. 
All right, we're going to let this start to brown up. You see it's doing great. Yeah, we brought back a couple of items today. They got an amazing email. Yes. Beautiful email in the yes. inbox. Yes. Brought back the old Wild Side. It's back in stock. Beep, 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 beep. Wild Side back in stock. That's right. Y'all probably got the email already. And but then RTA 850, the, the Matadors are back in stock too? Yes. Which or G450. I'm super excited about. I cooked on one the other day. We did some Moroccan chicken. That came out so awesome. Actually, it's a perfect accessory to any of our grills, that Matador. I really love it. And now it's back in stock. You guys can head over to rectechgrills.com right now and purchase that thing. That's what I'm talking about, Jody. Shoot, yeah, and shoot, that's yeah. why you want to sign up for the newsletter so you get all this great information. That's exactly right. Chef John, what could you substitute if you absolutely despise sweet potatoes? How, okay, first, we need to talk about why you despise sweet potatoes. I don't know <laughs> what a sweet potato ever did to you for you to despise it. But you could use regular potatoes. You could use Idaho potatoes, uh, red potatoes, roasted red potatoes would be really good. Whatever kind of potato you really like. You don't have to get stuck on any of the specifics here because you could switch it out for anything. If you don't like ground beef, you could use ground turkey. If you don't like peppers, you could switch it out for, you know, whatever you like. Whatever you like. Shoot yeah. Shoot yeah. All right, I'm going to hit this with a little bit more oil. Earl. Earl. Earl is that, John? We're using a little bit of olive oil. Okay. And then I'm going to go over the top with a little bit of that taco seasoning. Yum. Could you use that Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub? I did not use any of that Dirty Girl. I, I mean, could been, you? You totally could. That would be acceptable. I just, now that you said it, I should have, actually. That would have no, been awesome. No, I like taco seasoning. That would have been awesome. All right, we're going to give this a mix. See that meat starting to brown up real nice. And we're just trying to get a light brown on it, and then we're going to take it out. We're really just trying to get all that delicious juice and stuff in this pan. When you're cooking in one pan like this, you really try to develop the flavor and the seasoning sticks to the pan. That's where all the goodness is. I think I've incited some rage, Chef John. Guys, put in the comment section if you like sweet potatoes or not. Please. A lot of folks out there despising the Whoa. sweet potato. Despising the tater? Sweet potatoes are the trash of the potato family. Jody, no. Yeah, not, they, are not, they, are not, they are not the trash. They are the trash. Guys, put it in the comment They're section. They're like corn tortillas. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Put in the hey. comment section, guys. I need a little support here, a little love for the sweet potato. Let me know if you guys love sweet potatoes or if you do not. I would really like to see. I thought the world loves sweet potatoes, Jody. Do I they know. not? Did not not by this comment section. Wow. Hey, Linda's, Linda Moore, she's a top fan, and she's asking if we will ever have a flat top griddle. A flat top griddle? L Linda Moore, how can you be a top fan and not know that we already have a griddle? You know we have a griddle. You need to go to rectechgrills.com and just scroll through the website. Just go take your time, you know? John Pour yourself a little something potatoes. to drink. John hates sweet potatoes. John, come on, buddy. Warren says they're junk. What? Tony AJ says, no, thank you. Oh. Stephanie loves them. Oh, no. Jerry Ferguson, not a fan. We have got some turncoats here, people. Linda Moore, she loves those sweet potatoes. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. I need really a little help. with that uh, raised warm apple pie. Oh, yeah, so good. A little melted butter on top. All right, so I went ahead and got all the ground beef out. We're going to set this to the side, right? Just let that do its thing. Now, while that pan starts to heat back up, right after it finishes heating back up, we're going to go ahead and add the sweet potatoes, the peppers, and get the vegetables started. I want to show you guys, I have some red pepper cut up here. I want to show you all how mm. to do a red pepper real quick, how to cut a red pepper, because we get a lot of questions on Chef John, how is the proper way to cut a red pepper? So we'll call this the north end of the pepper, and we'll call this the south end of the pepper, right? So we're going to take both of the ends off, put those to the side, because you could totally use that. We're going to take out this little seed pit right here. And then all those seeds in there, you see that? What we're going to do is we're just going to tap that over the trash can. Tap, tap, tap. And most of them come right out. See that? Look how well. Look how clean that is, Jody. Most of them come that right pretty clean. out. That's pretty clean. <laughs> and then we're gonna slice it down. Atta boy. And we're just gonna take these white little veins out of it. Kevin West right. says, "I am a fan." <laughs> <laughs> I know he is. <laughs> yams are the jams of the jam. Because they're yams. They're the Sweet jam, bro. Are yams, everybody. <laughs> That's yes. right. Son of a gun. <laughs> All right. So we took the veins out. Now we're just gonna rough chop this. Ooh. Right, just cutting it into similar pieces. You're just trying to make the pieces pretty much the same size like so a it Japanese cooks sushi chef. evenly. So rough chop on that. Mm, yum. Looks great. 
We're going to chop this up. Bobby doesn't wanna, like sweet potatoes. Waste not, want not. Golly, guys. I did not know that there were so many people out there. Richard said that sweet, sweet like potatoes sweet have all kinds of nutrients and are really tell, good for you. Tim. Tell them, Richard. Drop, drop some knowledge out there, Richard. That's what I'm talking about. All kind of nutrients, all kind of minerals and vitamins that are good, essential for a healthy body. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right. We're going to go ahead and drop these peppers in. I'm going to score it a little bit more oil, probably about a teaspoon of oil. John, would you say you're dropping it like it's hot? I'm about to drop it like it's hot, Jody. All right, we're mm. going to throw these peppers in. Smash that share button, guys. Give us a like. Give us a love. Looking great. Chef John is doing sweet potato hash. That's right. Joseph said, shoot no to sweet potatoes. We have, <laughs> we have incited rage I with love the comment it. section, I John. I love it. I love it. I love that I'm inciting some energy out of you guys on this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday here at the worldwide headquarters for Rec Tech Grills. Tyler said, thanks for accepting his friend request, Chef John. Always, guys, shoot ya. I love getting friend requests from you guys. I love, love, love it, and uh, I'm happy to be you guys' friends. Yeah, you can go follow me on uh, Rec Tech Chef John on Facebook, uh, Rec Tech Chef John on Instagram, Chef John Official on TikTok. I'm on all the social media platforms, yeah. Give me a shout. I shoot love to be y'all's friends. Yeah, shout. All right, so we got the peppers in there, right? Yeah. I'm going to let those start to cook, right? Because that's really the only thing left, really, that's raw that really needs to cook. The potatoes, I'll talk about these real quick. The sweet potatoes, what I did was I just took the potatoes, peeled them, cut them up into these delicious little cubes, right? And then I just sauteed them, right? Started getting a little bit of brown on them, didn't put any seasoning on at all. Once they started to brown up a little bit, I added about a half a cup of water to the saute pan and just let them finish. As soon as the water had evaporated out, the potatoes were done. It was just that easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So while we're letting that come up, I it's hot that. out here and I am thirsty, Jody. You thirsty? You want me yeah, you wanna make a drink? Man. Yeah, let's make a drink, bro. Let's make a drink. And when I'm making a drink, you know there's only one drink to make. It's that Dirty Girl Vodkarita. Well, my twist on that Dirty Girl Vodkarita. I love, love, love Dirty Girl. It's one of my favorite, favorite cocktail mixers. If you guys have not tried them out yet, you're living under some rock, you definitely need to go look for them wherever you can find cocktail mixers. If you can't find them, ask for them or go to dgmixers.com and get it straight from the horse's mouth. That's right. Okay, so what we're going to do today is to just take this to the next level. I've got a mango. They were on sale, Jody. Shout out to our local grocery store, Publix. Got a little mango. I so dated a girl one time with the last name of Mango, Jenny Mango. Jenny Mango? That's right. What, uh, what, how old were you, uh, Jody, when you were dating this girl? Oh, man, probably uh, 14, 15. Woo. Middle school. One of them young girls. Shout out Jenny Mango. Pretty young thing. All right. So what we're doing is we're taking the skin off, and I'm just going to drop that mango straight in there. Right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now we're just going to go ahead and give this a mash with our muddler. We'll just mash it up. Now you could use any fruit that you like. I do this with uh, blueberries and strawberries, and it is dynamite. I just saw the mangoes on sale, so I was like, what? why not? We should try it out with a mango. I mean, if Truly can do it, why can't we do it, you know? All right. So now I'm using my second favorite vodka. Shout out to Tito's Vodka. Tito's, y'all make a fine, fine product. If you guys care or watching, care to send us anything, we totally will use it on the show. So <laughs> we're going to go with a three count. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, and a little bit for Jody. There you go. And now I'm using the Second City uh, Distillery Aged Peach Rum. If you guys have not gone down to Second City Distillery in downtown Augusta, Georgia, or check their website out, I highly suggest you do so. They are awesome, awesome, awesome. Not only are they awesome people, but they're an amazing distillery. It's really great. So I highly advise you check them out. This is just one of the awesome spirits that they make. So we're going to go with a half a count, one and a half counts on that. And then we're just going to finish it off with this Dirty Girl Margarita Slash Sour Mix. This stuff is delicious. It's not just for margaritas. Anything that takes sour mix, you can use this stuff. It is primo. All right, we're just going to finish this off. Go like a four count. Perfect. Now my favorite part, the shake. Yeah, shake it up. Shake it up. All right. We have our handy strainer, 
And it's just that simple, guys. Ooh, hoo, 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 that looks good. I don't know about y'all, but it's about 98 degrees out here. Standing next to the grill is probably about 110. Cheers to y'all. Mm. So, John, uh, since the Matador just rolled out, we got a couple of folks asking, can you buy the mat just the Matador pan by itself? No, Jody, you cannot just buy the Matador pan by itself. That's a great question, but no. You have to get it all together, the stand, and really, guys, you're going to want to do that because I know what y'all are thinking. If I just get that pan, I can set it inside my bullseye, I can still do all the awesome stuff, but you're really only getting half of the amazing product. The other half of that Matador is that, excuse me, that dual burning system, really, and the adjustable legs on the new legs, it is top quality. Don't miss out, but yes, you, it, they come together. It's a set. It's a set. All right, let's check out these peppers. John, are we going to be doing Fun Day Friday? You know we are, Jody. That's every Friday, my friend. Every Friday we're doing Fun Day Friday. And you know what? Greg, last Friday, he spun that, he spun that wheel, wheel of rec, rec tech. tech. And didn't, we, didn't it land on an RT700, Jody? Shoot, yeah, it did. So that means that's what we're giving away. RT700 this Friday on Fun Day Friday that starts at 12 o'clock. It's one of our top shows, I would say. People love, love, love Fun Day Friday. They can't get enough of it. All right, so we got the peppers in there. They're starting to get soft. We're going to dump in our sweet potato. Yum. Yeah, it's looking great, right? Right. I'm going to throw in a little bit of mushroom. Mushrooms this look pan's great, This filling bro. up quick, Jody. This pan's filling up quick. Uh-oh. Maybe you should have used that old Dutch oven I like you like to do. I probably should have used that old Dutch oven. <laughs> Now or we're gonna or add your hot box, excuse me. <laughs> hot box. Oh, inside joke. You guys had to be there. I hope y'all watched that that uh, lunch break. We had a good time. <laughs> I totally forgot the difference between hot box and Dutch oven. And there's right, multiple, so just, multiple. Old school, old school. So we're just <laughs> mixing it all in now, guys. So good. Yum. All right. Yes. It smells like hash. Doesn't it smell so good? Now we're just going to let this do its thing. And remember, everything in here was cooked. We were just really waiting on those peppers to get soft. But everything else in there was done. It's A couple just of folks are asking, you know, saying, man, it looked good until you added the sweet potatoes. Uh, Bam! Uh-uh, everybody. You know, it's easy to stay out there and say you don't like sweet potatoes, but I promise you guys, if y'all were here and y'all tasted this dish, it would knock your socks off. Yum. I don't do anything bad, Jody. You know what I'm saying? All my stuff is delish. Shoot, yeah. Now, did you parboil those sweet potatoes? I did parboil. Actually, what I did was just, I put them in a saute pan with a little bit of olive oil in there. No salt, no seasoning. Threw them in there, started to saute them. As soon as I saw that they started to get brown, I added like a half a cup of water and just let that water finish cooking. It probably took about 15 <laughs> minutes, and it was perfect. You got a good question out there, Jody? No, it's just Chris Jones put uh, throw up face a hundred uh, times uh -uh. in the Chris comment Jones? section. Chris I love Jones, it. uh uh, I love it. No, Chris Jones, no, no. Sweet potatoes are delicious. Philip said, Healthy. "Don't knock it till you try it." Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about, Philip. Don't <laughs> knock Mike it. Mike said, "Come on down to California. He'll show you what would they call a hot box." <laughs> All right, Mike. Hey, as soon as we get there, I'm looking you up, Mike. I'm looking you up. All right, so this I got some avocado here. We're going to use this as a garnish. I'm just going to go ahead and show you all how to slice up an avocado right here. I already have some sliced, but I also get a lot of questions about how to slice an avocado. So what we're going to do is this is the north side of the avocado. We'll say the side with the little pit in it, and that's the south side of the avocado, the side that doesn't have anything. So <laughs> what we're going to do is we're just going to take our knife, and we're just going to roll it around. Jody, they saying cool stuff out there? <laughs> no, man. Wait till you read the comment section after you get done. This I is hilarious. To, I cannot wait to read the comment section when I get done. You guys are out there having a good time. While y'all are out there That's having a good time, about. guys, smash that share button for me. Help me keep bringing y'all great content like this. And the only thing y'all got to do is smash that share button. It allows my boss to know that I'm doing a great job and y'all are having fun out there. Are we not having fun? I ask you. Yes, we're having fun. Thank you guys so much. All right. 
Hey, Chef John, somebody's asking about a good first cook. What is a good first cook? I, I recommend for a first cook, we try to say something really fatty like chicken thighs. It's, I love chicken thighs, so it's an awesome first kick, cook for me. I do uh, uh, skin on and bone in chicken thighs, and it takes about, I don't know, 45, 30, 45 minutes. I uh, do them at about 375 degrees, 400 degrees. Uh, come out perfect, perfect. It was a great first cook. And we were uh, we had a good question to comment on in the comment section. Some folks saw our bacon wrapped quail recipe, uh, and because the quail is smaller, you really can't kind of substitute that recipe. That's right. Um, but uh, I would just definitely recommend not bacon wrapping that chicken thigh for your very first cook. Yeah, no, nah, definitely not, definitely not. You know, I would say uh, for your first cook, just take it easy peasy. Get to learn your grill, you know, because you're you're going to learn uh, a whole bunch of stuff as you start to cook. You'll learn a lot more about the grill as you use it. And your food will start to taste better. If, J if Jody said it once, he said it a thousand times. That cook 20 is going to taste <laughs> a much better than that cook one because the grills had ch a chance to season, get all those delicious flavors splattered all over the place. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> No or one likes a Dutch oven, John. Nobody likes a Dutch oven? No. Is that the consistent <laughs> consensus out <laughs> there? Nobody it. likes a Dutch oven? All right, so that's how you slice, slice the cob. I kind of didn't really show y'all, but it's super easy. North to south, slice it, roll the spoon right in, and you get the avocado. You showed right them, out. Jody. Real quick, right? Let's do a shout out, real quick. Let's shout out, shout out, everybody. That's attention, right. please, attention. Please, attention, guys. We uh, we're giving a sh quick shout out. Who who are we giving this shout out to again? I'm sorry, can I not remember? Miss Georgia Ms. Van Zant. Miss Georgia Van Zant and Ovarian uh, Cancer Awareness. We are wearing our bands for you. We are hashtag, jo hashtag Georgia, Georgia strong, strong, everybody. Georgia Strong. But her and her husband, Kyle, are both rec tech owners and part of the rec tech family. That's right. And uh, we just wanted to show her some love. Yeah, for you sure. Guys, smash that share button. Give her a like. Give her a love. That's right. Uh, and help her know that she's got backing. She's got a family behind her. Sure does. Um, that's here to help her fight. That's right. We love it. We love it. Anything that we could do to help, Take we're a always sip. here for you. A cheers for her, John. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. Mm. Mm. That mango is delicious. Jody, it's so good. Right, right. I didn't make you one, but I should have. It, was, <laughs> it came out so really we've, nice. We've got some new grill owners out there. Okay. So how do you perform your first burn-in, John? My first burn-in is, okay, guys, it's super simple. Jody s says it all the time. I know I repeat his sayings, but he's the expert. Don't overthink it, guys. You know what I'm saying? All you really need to do is you want to fill your hopper up, okay? Make sure you get it full of pellets, right? Then you want to take a handful of pellets, put them in that fire pot, just because there are no pellets in the auger tube, right? So you got to give that auger tube a chance to get some of those pellets in there. But as soon as that, the pellets that you put into your fire pot, as soon as they start to burn off, the auger tube should start to feed the rest of it. But yeah, that's that's how I do my first burn in, just a handful of pellets in the in the uh, fire. And then and then burn it in for f at 400 degrees for 1 hour before I put any food on there. Just to make sure anything residual that's in there, we get it nice and hot, burnt off. It's a nice sterile environment for whatever it is that we're cooking. Jody, yeah. this is looking great right looks here. I think we're me, almost bro. there, bro. Almost looks like a uh, like that uh, tomato um, succotash you made. That kinda. tomato succotash was dynamite. <laughs> okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this spinach because spinach does not need a lot of time. If something's hot and you're using fresh spinach, you could get it to wilt Shoot you. right over the top. Super easy. So we're just gonna go right over the top with this. Yum. I'm gonna work this in a little bit. How does that, that look, color. guys? Does that look good? Is that making y'all hungry? What are you guys eating out there today? Y'all eating sandwiches? Y'all having a bologna sandwich? Because we're doing it up today. All right, three more minutes on this, and that's gonna be perfecto, perfecto. John, what are you guys cooking for uh, Fourth of July? Fourth of July, man. Let me tell you, I'm gonna be with uh, Brooke Heindel and her family. Um, they shout do, out! Shout out! Shout out! We, uh, they do every year, their family does an old school hog cooking. They cook a whole pig uh, with the coals, no rec tech. They do it old school. The whole group of guys stay up all night. And we do that right outside of Milledgeville, Jody. So I will be with them enjoying some Brunswick stew and some pulled hog. What about you? What are you going to be cooking for uh, the fourth, Jody? 
you know, I haven't decided yet. There's a, there's a lot of options out there. Um, you know, we could, I got everything in the freezer already frozen. Briskets, ribs, oh. pork butts, oh. hams. Okay, you so know? you're prepared, you're ready. I, we're always ready already. <laughs> so, the planning uh, and house stays locked down. They're all ready for any kind of without whatever. Without a doubt, without okay. a doubt. But, I uh, but I mean, I, I, I haven't done a lone slow in a hot minute. You know, since that last brisket that we cooked, that's right. Probably about a month ago. So that's I'll right. probably go low and slow. You're gonna go low and slow. Either you know, I d and I like my neighbors stopping by <laughs> on Saturdays. We've seen you. We've so seen those neighbors come I will out probably put something on super super late. That way it starts smelling really really good around yeah. eight, seven, eight o'clock. Yeah, buddy. People start walking. They start oh, drifting yeah. in. Yeah, so. the Flanagan house is gonna be ripping and raring for the fourth. So all of Jody's neighbors, if y'all smell some like delicious beef, that beef smell. It's coming from Jody's house. Just Shoot, yeah. You know Jody loves to hang out, talk about all things barbecue. Those pork chops we had uh, yesterday Dude, were delicious as let's well. Let's just take a minute and appreciate those delicious pork chops that Jody did yesterday for lunch break. If you guys missed that, go back and watch that episode. It was super easy. He used that Dutch oven pork chop, <laughs> made a little bit of sauce for it. It was awesome. Oh, awesome Dutch awesome. oven pork chops. I don't <laughs> like that name at all. I don't like that name at all. It was awesome. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull this. Woo, son. Oh, yes. It's heavy, heavy, heavy. That's what I'm talking about. See how that spinach has already started wilting? That's what I'm it's talking only about, old for son. a couple of minutes, right? Big old bot cat. That's what I'm talking about. So now how we're going to finish this, because we're not done yet. Right? Most people would be done, but not us. We're turning <laughs> it all the way up. Roger's looking to get a Dutch oven, Chef John. Is Do you it? have any recommendations on brand and size? We actually got our <laughs> our Dutch oven. What did we get it from Amazon, right, Jody? Yeah, That's we got ours from Amazon. That's it right. was uh, Amazon Home brand. Yep, Home and it brand. it was a cast enamel Dutch oven. That's right. Chef Greg has also said that uh, he uh, has got some from Sam's Club. He said those are really priced right and uh, affordable. They're really nice. All right, Jerry, so I'm just going to top this with a little bit of avocado Ooh, that we sliced of up. Now, when it comes to garnishes, you guys could use whatever you want. Egg, a nice egg, sunny side up egg would be perfect on top Yum. of this. Um, you could do some nice tomatoes right on top of this. I've got some avocado, right? Mm. We're going to go with a little bit of fresh cilantro just to make it pop. Yeah, Amazon Basic is where we got that. Thanks, Amazon Basic. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Now we're going to hit it with just a little bit <laughs> of that taco seasoning right on top. And then some sour cream, Jody. Yum. Could you use cream cheese? You could You could use cream cheese if you want, but... I'm a maniac. I would just go stick with the sour. Man, how great does that look, guys? Bob Thayer said, good God, that looks so good. Right? That's what I'm talking about, Bob. Because sure. you know why? You love sweet taters. Charlie Weir said he just got a Dutch oven from his wife. <laughs> Claire, don't be Dutch oven Is there a such thing okay? as a double Dutch oven? A double Dutch? Double Dutch oven? Double Dutch oven? I, I don't know, Joe. You may have just started something. <laughs> double Dutch oven. That's Inside welcome. Dutch oven joke here. <laughs> All right, guys. Guys. As always, we love, love, love bringing you this guy's co y'all this content. Help us keep bringing you that content by smashing that share button real quick. Monday through Thursday, we're here with lunch break at 12 o'clock on Rectech Grill's Facebook page, and we have so much fun hanging out with you guys. We love bringing these awesome recipes. Remember. It's Wednesday, so that means at 5 o'clock we'll be doing after hours. That Chef Greg, Jody, and myself. It's a lot of fun. We get to hang out, uh, cut up a little bit. You got something? I do, John. Could you add cheese to this? Shoot, yeah. Why wouldn't you add? Why didn't I think about cheese either? Right. I should have thought about right. cheese, guys. Right. I totally let y'all down. You did, John. You just let everyone down. <coughs> Excuse me. I really should have thought about the cheese. All right, so, so we got, uh, they're asking a question out here, Logan, and, I, and you're going to answer it for us. So come on out here. Come on. I'll get, come on, Logan. Come on, come Logan. On come on out here. So they were asking, who washes the dishes for us, Logan? Logan Wright. This is our intern, Logan Wright. Uh, her dad also works here. He is our shipping manager. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday Everybody now. to you. Happy birthday, dear Logan. Logan. Happy birthday. Happy 
Happy birthday, Logan. Happy thank birthday, you for washing Logan. our dishes. And thank you for everything you do. She's great. Logan's great. Thank you so much, Logan. Killing it. Smash that share button for Logan Wright, everybody. Smash it for Logan Wright, everybody. But Sorry guys, I had to do that, John. Sorry. No, I, thank you so much for doing that. I've totally Jody. forgotten until I the end of the show. That, that, was, so. no, that was great. Jody, killing it. But, guys, make sure tonight you tune in at 5 o'clock for After Hours. And then tomorrow we're coming at you with more lunch break. And then at 11 o'clock, oh, wait, 4 o'clock we do Product Spotlight. And that's just a chance that's for Thursday, us. Yep. That's just a chance for us to give you guys a little bit more in-depth look on products that you guys have asked and seen more about. That starts at 4 with Jody. He'll Shoot be doing up. that. And then at 11 o'clock tomorrow night, we're doing Late Night Munchies with your, your favorite chef, Chef John. Uh, I highly suggest you guys tune in to that. It's a fun time. We usually do something sweet for them late night treats, you know. So tune in. And then Friday, not going to want to miss Fun Day Friday this week. We're giving away an RT700. Shoot Go ya. back and watch old Fun Day Friday so you can register to win. Find out how to win. Shoot you. On Friday, you know. Shoot you. All right, Jody, I'm going to go ahead and dig in. I didn't see that. No, just use the biggest spoon you can find, Just use the biggest spoon I can find? Yep. Okay. That's how, we, uh, that's, that's how we go here. That's how we live our lifestyle? Well, that's how All I right. live my lifestyle. All right, here we go. One perfect, humongous bite. I see a little bit of steam coming off of there, but I'm not scared. Mmm. Oh. God, that's the biggest spoon I've ever oh seen. Oh, my God, Jody. My mom always said don't talk with your mouth full, but mmm. Mmm. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Everybody's saying it would be amazing if it didn't have sweet potatoes in it. You get a creaminess. <laughs> you don't even get any sweetness. Nah, it it's does just look creaminess amazing. from the potatoes. You get that a little bit of that veal taste. Shoot you. Creaminess from the avocado. The heifer dust. The Colton's freaking Greek. The mushrooms. Oh my god. God. Is this a game? This ain't no game, Johnny. Okay. Everybody else is playing for a second. Game, set, match. You know, that's what I was about to say. My ma'am. Ma'am. Guys, thank we you play guys for so keeps. much. That's right, we are. We play for keeps. Tell them again, Jody. Wait. Tell them again. We play for keeps. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Game, set, match. Sorry. It's okay. Thank you Sorry. guys so much for tuning in. I love having you guys watch me. I love all of you. Take care of one another out there. Remember, we are a brother's keeper. Listen to one another. And never, never forget, quality of food is quality of life. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Do, do, do. All right, I'm going to yell at these people, John. Do, do, do. Adrian Kratzer. Do, do, do. What's Rest up, Craig Reinhardt, Corey Cruz, Justin set. Pass, John Dillon, John when Franklin. What's up, All American down. Towing in Augusta, Live John Starsevich, like Justin Pass, Steve lifestyle. Burns, Michael Frederick, do, do, Gary do. McConnell, do, do, John do, do, Moore, do, do, do. Michael Frederick, do, do, do. Justin Pass. Rick Tech last time. Uh, John Thickbed Jr. Do, do, do. Uh, Andy Dickey, Sarah Starr, Roger Dodger, Jane.